Hi everyone, my name is Adam. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the extensive list of improvements and features you can expect in ACDC Ultimate 2024, ACDC Professional 2024, and ACDC Home 2024. I'll be showcasing the features using ACDC Ultimate. Many of these features are centered around AI advancements we've made to the 2024 line of products. The blue icon at the bottom left will indicate that this feature is available in Ultimate, the red icon will indicate for Pro, and the yellow icon will indicate for Home. I'll be timestamping the features in the description below so you can skip ahead to the feature that most interests you. Let's begin with Digital Asset Management Changes to Manage Mode. AI Keywords AI Keywords are a brand new and highly requested feature available to ACDC. Navigating to the AI Keywords tool from the Properties panel, you can see a variety of content-aware automated suggestions that are visible after browsing through respective folders. These keyword suggestions are populated by browsing and allow you to pick which keyword suggestions you would like to add to your existing keywords library. Keywords added to your images with the AI feature show up in the catalog pane. Manually adding keywords is not necessary to view them. This process is streamlined, easy to navigate, and saves you countless hours adding keywords manually. Directly embed and import ACDC metadata to IPTC. Now both ACDC metadata in the form of keywords and categories can be embedded to IPTC or pulled from to create ACDC metadata. This can be done with a couple quick clicks. Simply navigate to an image that has ACDC metadata that you would like to move to IPTC and then click on Tools, Metadata, and either Keywords, Categories, or AI Keywords to IPTC. Now, when I navigate to the Properties panel and click on IPTC under Metadata, you will see that the respective AI keywords have been added to the IPTC field. Note that if AI keywords have been detected on an image, we can use the embed AI keywords to IPTC command regardless of whether or not those AI keywords are assigned to your keyword library. This IPTC information is viewable to any user, not just ACDC users. So if you want to preserve this metadata for the public or for friends who have access to these images, this tool is a huge time saver. Filter categories and keywords. Both keywords and categories can now be filtered. For example, in images with many, potentially hundreds of keywords, honing in on a specific keyword or keyword hierarchy can be essential. I'll navigate to keywords in the properties pane and use the filter bar to search for the keyword snow. Upon searching, snow and its respective hierarchy pops up. From here I can add, remove, or make further filter searches. Both categories and AI keywords also contain the same new filter function. Changes to edit mode. AI sky replacement. Brand new to ACDC is the AI sky replacement tool. This tool finds the sky in your image and allows you to replace it with default ACDC skies or skies that you've taken yourself. In my image, I'll navigate to the sky replacement icon or the AI icon from the toolbar. The tool will take a moment to register my sky. And from here, we can select a category such as dramatic or night sky and choose from a preloaded sky, or we can use the plus icon to find a sky from our file directory. I'll add this image here. I can increase and decrease the scale while also positioning my image. I can shift the edge to remove any haloing that may appear. I can color correct to match my image better. I can apply blending adjustments and even apply a reflection to the water if one appears clearly. And most importantly, I can output as a layer to preserve non-destructiveness. AI Object Selection Tool. AI Object Select is a new tool that can simplify the selection process of incredibly complex photo subjects. 
In this example, we have this cocktail on the left. All are equally in focus, but the left is the subject we want to select. Here, I'll navigate to the toolbar and use the AI Object Select tool. If we draw a line around the perimeter of our subject, the tool will snap to the relevant content. Now various adjustments can be made. Here's an example of the tool as it selects a very intricate subject. Pro AI additions to edit mode. New to edit mode in Pro is select subject, select sky, and select background. Each feature is a one-click selection process. New brush tools. Edit mode now features a whole revamped airbrush tool, so you have more incremental control with improved opacity. The introduction of flow control, and even brush settings that allow you to change the brush shape, angle, randomness of strokes known as jitter, and even hue variations. Additions in edit mode to home. Edit mode in Home 2024 now features some tools only available previously in Pro and Ultimate, namely the Skin Tune tool. You can find this tool on the left filter menu. Now available in edit mode, you can apply both smoothing and glow to your subjects to brighten your face and also reduce blemishes. Also new to edit mode in Home is the Grain tool. Use the grain tool on the left filter menu to add film grain weathering to your images. Face editor improvements. The face editor tool now comes with the heavily requested ability to change eye direction, both vertically and horizontally. Open the tool from the top of the filter menu. You can find the new tool in the eye section. Here I will change the direction of the subject's eyes to facing away from the camera. Also new to the face editor is the new skin section, which adds the functionality of the skin tune tool, smoothing and glow, and also better allows you to adjust crow's feet and under eye wrinkles at the same time. Changes to develop mode. Finally, we're very excited to add three AI functions into our developer and a bit of an overall on how we apply masking. Select subject. When you open up the developer, you are prompted to mask your image. Now we can still make generalized adjustments to our whole image, but using a mask type such as AI select subject, we can begin to make selective adjustments. Here I will click AI subject. You will see that my subject is selected at once and the masking panel is expanded with a huge selection of options. With our subject selected, Let's desaturate all of the blues in our image so that our subject's clothes appear black. Select background. Much like select subject, quick masks can be made to make selective adjustments to your backgrounds. Let's delete our subject mask and instead mask our background using the same AI background tool. Watch as I adjust the temperature saturation and contrast to completely change the masked background. AI Sky Selection. Finally, AI Sky Selections can be made in the same way we did with our background or our subject. Here, we'll click on the AI Sky Masking tool and it will automatically select the sky so that we can make adjustments to what is masked. I'll switch over to Color EQ and change the hue of the blue to an almost purple. I can slightly increase the exposure in the general settings and even desaturate the background a bit if I wanted to. Note that I can add new masks using the plus button at the bottom of the mask window. I can also have multiple masks active just like before. I can also copy, paste, or duplicate masks. I can invert masks enable, disable the adjustments, clear the settings that the mask had, or bring up the pixel targeting tool. That represents the bulk of improvements in 2024. 
More specific features and smaller improvements will be outlined on the individual product pages. Stay tuned for more tutorial content as we approach the release date, and always please like, comment, and subscribe. Click on the bell icon to be notified when we upload new videos.